prayer to God. We just uh, thank God for everything that's been said before. Um, in a nutshell, it's just life changing. It's nothing like the pictures that you see on television. It's nothing like you could ever imagine. And you can't think nothing but feeling guilt of all the waste personally that you have of your own. When you look at the little to them is everything, it redefined to me again the Great Commission all over again with God's definition. We're here to serve. We're here to serve the, the things that God said we should serve. And that's the needs that are great in this world. And this world is not just home here in America, especially within our own families. The needs are great. And if never before, if we never understood our purpose in life and our calling, it is to seek to save that which is lost. It is to take that which you have, especially the abundance of what you have, and share it and get it in the hands of those who it belong to, not just need it. It belongs to them. And that probably needs to be the around the world. And I do thank God for allowing me the opportunity to go. Apostle open and allow that release as well. I thank all of you for your prayers. You know, us there safely to come back. And we just bless God, but if you ever if ever in doubt of your calling of what you need to do in God, rest assured the greatest calling that God has called us all to, and that is to serve those who cannot help themselves. And that's the call. God bless you. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> My preparation to go to India was a challenge for me. I had warfare on every hand. I had a daughter on bed rest, a daughter trying to make it through a PhD, I had some marriage situations going on. And I had physical challenges. Physical challenges to the point of a couple weeks before we went, I was going to tell the apostle that I could not go. But the Holy Spirit spoke to Anna Minor and told her to come help me to get me ready to go. And she stuck with me. She stuck with me. She helped me build up my endurance and my strength and my stamina. So I was able to endure the mission trip. More, more energy, more stamina than what I thought I would have. The Lord sustained me. So I thank God for Anna. I thank God for the prayers of the saints. We can feel the prayer. We have a prayer shield around us. Going to India. when we go to these different countries. I not only watch, but I listen. Because cultures are different. So I watched the apostle. His humility, his integrity, his character was so intact. It was just, it was awesome. So whatever setting I was in, I would watch him, I knew what to do. Wherever we went, whatever we would say, I would listen to him, I knew what to do. Um, and like they talked about, the humility was great, the service was great, but there was such a level of intimacy. It was a different anointing from Africa. The level of intimacy was just phenomenal. And it was due because of the honor that they were giving this man. It was great. It was great. So we were, we were entertained in their houses. They served us. They fed us. And they just listened. They didn't interrupt anything. They listened at whatever our needs were. We were able to go, somebody probably already spoke about that too, an engagement celebration, which was phenomenal. And I don't know if the Apostle said this, but he let us know that there are already 50 leaders under him in India. And 30 more at that time have come to join us because of the honor and respect that they have for this man. So I'm learning as I go. We all learn as we go because we're all different, we're all unique. But it was a truly powerful experience. And the Lord, even through all this time I was going through the struggles and preparing to go, the Lord had been dealing with me on humility. And what he did was he put it right before my face. This is humility. This is humility. And that's how he wants us. Well, we can't get nowhere without humility, you all. Humility is the key 
open doors. It is the key. It will sustain you. It will keep. So I'm learning. I'm learning because even in America, we walk in false humility. We walk in false servitude. We think we're humble, but we're not. There's so much more to humility than meets the eye. And I tell you what, after we came back, what impacted me even more was our apostle went to the National Day of Prayer and he left the offering. He left the offering. Do you know what I'm saying? After traveling 30 hours from the van to the airport back to Florida, the next day, he goes to the National Day of Prayer and he leaves the offering in that same spirit of humility.